if you see two people holding hands heading towards <laughs> heading towards Soho, we're then not holding hands anymore. Oh, she's literally rejected you right now. No, she's literally pushed you. They, right, so now you're lesbians again. So <laughs> yes, mate, how we doing? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, Christian. Make sure that you are part of the Christian Casanova family, smashing that subscribe button, banging those sexy notifications on. So the video that I'm going to share with you today, man, it's probably one of my favourite infield videos that I've shared in quite a while. So basically, last time that me and Dan were in London, came across these two absolutely beautiful girls around Soho. Um, and it later transpired that the girl who I got the number from was actually a Russian model. So on her like WhatsApp thing, she had her Instagram handle underneath. I was like, hmm, interesting. So uh, went on Instagram, searched her name. I was like, oh shit, she's got like tens of thousands of followers. And it's just one of those, man, where, you know, day game, doing this sort of shit, meeting girls during the daytime, it, it gives you access to girls who you wouldn't have uh, access to otherwise. So yeah, man, watch the entire video, soak up a shit ton of fucking value, drop it a like, let's get into it. Oh, excuse me, hiya, are you two girlfriends? Or are you friends? Are you kidding? Of course we are friends. Oh, well, I saw you holding hands. So I thought, you, you never, <laughs> I got you. I, you never know with people. So I, if you I, see, yeah, if you see, if you see if you see two people holding hands heading towards <laughs> heading towards Soho, we're then not holding hands anymore. Oh, she's literally rejected you right now. She's no, literally pushed you. They, right, so now you're lesbians again. So <laughs> if, if if I hold your hand, then it means that we're in a relationship. That's what it means. Hand really? holding's a big big thing. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. You Are don't you sound serious? like no. It's not like no, that. No, I'm not. Actually, it's not like that at all. Wait, are you Russian? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> that that explains everything now. Yeah. And you? I'm not Russian. Yeah, we no, can no. tell. <laughs> Where do you think I'm from? I don't know, your accent sounds pretty German. My accent sounds pretty. You're a charmer, aren't you? Very nice. <laughs> your accent sounds pretty. Never had that one before. German. <laughs> I look German. What, no, do, I, do I look like Hitler? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you, you know how to flirt, don't you? Watch out, you might get knocked over by a van. <laughs> um, no, I'm not German. Uh, I'm English. Yeah. I, yeah. I look at this side that your accent sounds British, but yeah, pretty as well. <laughs> pretty as well. A pretty British man yeah. who has stopped you on the street, <laughs> uh, who thought you were lesbians. Yeah. yeah, so what are you two doing in London then? Yeah, obviously, I, I know you're walking. Michael. No, no, I mean, like, I don't mean like literally, I mean, like, in life, like, what are you doing? I just came to study. Yeah. You came to study and yeah, you're I'm what? I've been here for a while. That's quite a vague answer. You're living here for. You sound like you're on the run. You I sound like. Run. So you're, you're on a run. You sound yeah. like a criminal. Yeah, I ran away from Russia, so I'm living here for a while. Which part of Russia? <laughs> Moscow. Moscow. Yeah. I know nothing about Moscow. Nothing. Nothing. It's nothing. I know it's called Moscow. <laughs> it's the capital. Mm. It's all you need to know, honestly. <laughs> it, nothing else happens in Moscow. Yeah, lots of things happen in Moscow. A lot of things happen in, 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 things happen in Moscow. Told, yeah. <laughs> yeah, mm. sure. Good things or bad things. Are we going to stand here? Like, uh, we're yeah, we're standing. We're gonna. We're not in the. We're on a pavement. The road is there. <laughs> That's why we've not been knocked over yet. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stand here for two more minutes, and okay. then I'm gonna say goodbye. Sure, no um, you got anything else to talk about? I'm kind of run out of stuff to be honest. You got anything you want to chat about? No. <laughs> what are you studying? You said you were studying something. There's a nice conversation thread. Oh no, let her answer. Just let her answer. My English. To improve your English. Okay. But well, today you're. Today was my last day here. Where are you going then? Moscow. You're going back to Moscow. Mm -hmm. Well, that doesn't work, does it? Because we're gonna we're gonna go on a romantic adventure together. So you're gonna you're gonna have to come back. When are you coming back? I don't think I have my girlfriend here. So. Yeah, I know you've got your girlfriend, but you know it's like you have to keep you have to keep your options open, don't you? You can't just you've got you've got a girlfriend, but you don't have a boyfriend yet. So you know you have to play the field, don't you? And what's your name? Is that shorter for something? Yeah, but I prefer, well, my name's Christian. Mm -hmm. I don't like being called Chris. <laughs> Why? Because it sounds fucking disgusting. <laughs> I prefer Christian because that's the name that my mum gave me. Mm -hmm. And I want to honour the full three syllables. Christian. There you go. Mm -hmm. On the fly, spontaneous. Anyway, um, I think you both look lovely and I'm happy that you're not lesbians. <laughs> um, but... I would like to take you out sometime. So if you drop me your number, 
I will send you a message and then you can do whatever you want with that message. I can give you my Instagram. <laughs> uh, no, we'll go for the number. And have you got WhatsApp? I complained about something. Okay, but Instagram is better. I'm sure it is, but to be honest, I don't really bother with Instagram. Um, so if you give me your phone number, I'll send you a message and then you can do whatever you want with that. Have you got like a Russian number or an English number? Mm -hmm. What is it? Russian. Right, I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it into what? Do you use WhatsApp? Is that a message you didn't want me to see? Is that from your other girlfriends? Do you remember yeah. my name? Yeah, for sure, Christian. Not Chris. And what's, what's your name? Delora. What? Delora. Delora? Yeah. That's a nice name. <laughs> Delora. Yeah. Do you get called Del? Oh God, no, never. Never be called Del. Okay. Well, Starbucks look. everyone calling me Kilora or like Dior Oh, don't get me started with Starbucks. I just tell them that I'm called Mike. It makes life easier. They never get it right. And they spell it wrong as well. I'm called Fairy. you call called Fairy? Yeah. Right. Thank you for that piece of information. No problem. Well, listen, you two have a lovely day Thank doing you. lesbian activities. Thanks. And uh, I'll, I will send you a message. Yeah, you. All right. Nice see you later. Day. All right, man, so let's chat about this interaction, how we can take what we've watched here and apply it to your own street seduction. So first things first, I start off the interaction very situationally. Oh, excuse me. Hi, are you two girlfriends or are you friends? Are you kidding? Of course we are friends. Oh, well, I saw you holding hands. You know, I'm going in there being like, excuse me, you know, are you two girlfriends, you two together, whatever. And it's very, you know, it, it doesn't always have to be the same spiel over and over again. It doesn't always have to be, you know, going up to girls and being like, excuse me, I just saw you. I know this is random, but you look really good. You look creative, right? You can do that. It's fine. But the more advanced you get in this, you start to get bored of the whole, like, same shit, different girl. But it's fine to do that if you're a beginner to get over that initial resistance. But as you're developing in your seduction career let's call it you know be a bit more situational it's fine it's fun to just get more experimental with the things that you're saying so that's how the conversation begins it starts off so playful if you see two people holding hands heading towards <laughs> heading towards soho we're then not holding hands anymore. <laughs> oh she's literally rejected you right now she's no, literally pushed you they, right so now you're lesbians again so if, if this is really one of the main reasons why guys choose to work with me is my conversation skills and my frame control. I think this interaction depicts both of these perfectly. Yeah? There's something very interesting in this interaction that I want to draw attention to. So one of the girls is like, we're from Moscow, right? And like, if you know anything about like the old school London day game model, it, it, will, it, will, it will train guys to be like, oh, when I think of Moscow, I think about you outside of the Kremlin with a babushka, uh, down in shots of vodka. And it's like, okay, that's fine to improve like your street improv, but I think there's a danger with this of following that model that like, you almost become like an entertainer. And guys can often be in their heads thinking, uh, all right, the girl is from, let's say, Turkmenistan. And the guy's in his head thinking, shit, shit, shit. I don't know anything about Turkmenistan. I'm going to have to like make something up and be like, yeah, my friend went there once and he like, you know, met this like flamingo and it was like a really good time. It's like, no. You don't have to be the performing monkey. You don't have to become the entertainer. You want to be the seducer. So just own, own your authenticity. I ran away from Russia, so I'm living here for a while. Which part of Russia? Moscow. Moscow. Yeah. I know nothing about Moscow. So the girl tells you she's from somewhere. If you don't know anything about that place, say that. Say, I don't know anything about Moscow. I know fuck all about Moscow. You'll have to tell me some things about it. And like, it takes away so much stress. It takes away like, oh, you're scared of running out of things to say. Like there was a moment in this conversation where I'd run out of things to say. So what does Christian do when he's running out of things to say? Um, you got anything else to talk about? I'm kind of run out of stuff, to be honest. You got anything you want to chat about? No? <laughs> he tells the girl, you know what? Shit. It's, uh, I'm, I'm running out of things to say right now. Like it's gonna get awkward if you don't think of something. Come on, quickly, give me a topic. You know, and this is what a big part of my seduction is about. And it can, it can become a big part of yours as well. Like, I appreciate we're all different, but 
being able to just break the fourth wall, like not just with day game, but in life in general, like, you know, people get too wrapped up in the seriousness, like life is a tragic comedy, like sometimes you have to have that zoomed out perspective and just realise that we're all human fucking beings, we have to go for a shit at undesirable times and the more we can go through life on this wave where we can just recognize the sheer absurdity of life. And honestly, man, all of your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, they will slowly start to diminish because you realize, you know what, man? This is my life. I'm going to live as I please. And I don't know, man, it just kind of takes the pressure off things. But you can just own it. You run out of shit to say, fine. It doesn't matter if you're speaking to a Russian model. Like, just own it. If she's from Moscow, you don't know anything about Moscow, be like, you know what? I know fuck all about Moscow. But maintain that solid frame. You know, there's a moment in these conversations as well where like one of the girls, I like asked the girl like what are you studying? And then her friend like started doing the, the talk. I was like, no, 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 let her speak. Oh no, let her answer. Yes, let her answer. That's that's frame control. That's that's dominating, all right? And to, to dominate the world, you have to dominate yourself first. Okay, so like I always say to you, man, just make sure that you are the best version of yourself that you can be. It's not some like woo-woo, like, you know, fucking wake up 5 a.m., do smoothies and all that shit. It's just like get to a level. Like, no, do you know what it is? For me, one of my like biggest um, discoveries since doing this whole thing really is a mantra that I say to myself more and more now. It's surrender to chaos. Like, I think the whole like self-improvement, like Fight Club's like perfect. It's like fuck self-improvement give me self-destruction. And it doesn't mean like you like going and fucking like slitting your wrists and shit, like <laughs> do not advise that. But what it means, like when I say to myself, surrender to chaos, it's almost like you're inviting the awkwardness, like all the things that you fear. Like what if the worst case scenario did happen? Like, could you live with it? So imagine you see a girl and you're like, shit, shit, shit. I don't know what to say. I'm going to run out of things to say then. Okay. What if you do run out of things to say? What if she does blow you out? Can you live with that? Because the answer will be yes. Yes, you can live with it because you're strong enough to live with it. So, I don't know. I feel like I've gone on a bit of a fucking ramble. The sun's going down. The lighting is not perfect. However, I feel like we've had a good, like, a, a good chat. I feel like we've had a good conversation here. Like, I just really want you to take from my videos just... It's not about being in the perfect headspace. It's not about waiting for everything to be right. It's just going and doing the best with what you've got. And this process, get involved with this, it will change your life. Not just doing day game, but living a life, living a seductive lifestyle. And look, there's a lot of shit to talk about how to create this, but if you are serious about becoming great at seduction, you want to live a seductive lifestyle and get in contact with me, drop me an email, ukdaygame at gmail.com. We will work together to get you to where you want to be. So listen, go out there, try it. If you can't do it on your own, get in contact with me. Happy fucking days. Um, that's it really, man. I've enjoyed making this one. It's just been like a I don't know, just a nice little fucking vibe. I'm about to go out for some uh, Thai food with a mate of mine soon. So I was like, you know what, mate? Put the camera on, make the video. Put it out there to the Casanovians. Um, but yeah, listen, I fucking appreciate you, man. If you're watching these videos, you're subscribed, you like them, just fucking love you, mate. So um, yeah, nice one. Uh, I'll speak to you next one. Uh, Something about the, the, the lighting, if it's shit, and the, there's like a little bit of static in the video as well. Fuck it, whatever. Fucking value galore in it. <laughs> anyway, man. See you later. Stay sexy. Live legendary. Ta-da. You stay sexy, okay?